This is Code Academy, Introduction to JavaScript. I am working on the first lesson of it, and it looks like I'm on level eight methods. Uh, we're getting into the fancy stuff now. Let's see what we have here. Remember that methods are actions we can perform. We can perform. JavaScript provides a number of string methods. We call or use these methods by appending an instance with a period, the dot operator, solid name the name of the method and opening and closing parentheses i example string dot method name parentheses does that syntax look a little familiar when we use council dot log we're calling the dot log method on the council object council is an object it has all these things all these methods all these functions uh, that are built into it so we can use them right away without creating or coding something that will print out here. Council.log and uh, let's see council.log and some real string methods in action. Council.log hello dot to uppercase council.log dot hey starts with h prints true. So these are some built in functions to our instances of strings. Again, this is not code we have to generate. We do not have to create a program that will uppercase H. It is built in when we declare a string already for us. Uh, it's, it's pretty handy and nice that we have all these built in tools right from the jump, right when we get started. Let's look at each of the following strings uh, uh, lines above. And remember, methods are are assigned to the particular instance and to the uh, particular data type. So two uppercase doesn't work on numbers. Numbers can't be uppercase. It has different, it has different methods. On the first line, dot two uppercase method is called on the string instance hello. The result is a log to the console. This method returns a string in all capital letters. Hello. On the second line, the dot starts with method is called on the string instance hey. This method also accepts the character H as an input or argument between the parentheses. Since the string hey does start with the letter H, the method returns the Boolean true, right? Boolean is true and false, zero or one type of stuff. And what it means by argument is this thing. We're telling the computer that's what we're looking for. Uh, things between these parentheses are called arguments. We'll get more into that later too. You can find a list of built in string methods in the JavaScript documentation. Developers use documentation as a reference tool. It describes uh, JavaScript's keywords, methods, and syntax. Yes, and it's always handy. I've used JavaScript uh, extensively for years now, and you do not remember all the methods. You're going to reference it back. It's the benefit of the internet. We don't have to remember all these things or carry around books of code. We just need to understand how code functions, how it procedure, the procedures of it, the structure and um, algorithmic thinking of it, which we'll get there. So use the two upper, if you're curious though, you should check this out now. I'm not going to, we are gonna learn a lot of these as we keep going through the course. Uh, and I like learning by doing anyways. Use the dot two uppercase method to log the string code academy to council in all capital letters, okay? So use the two uppercase to log code academy in all uppercase letters. So they're already logging it here. So I'm just going to go right in here. And if you're not sure if you, we reference right back up here, that's what we want to do to upper case. That looks good to me. We left this in quotes. Excellent. Let's hit run. Oh, there it is. I was seeing remove right space. Yes. Code Academy success. Uh, all right. In the second console.log statement in app.js, that's this file. This is actually a file that we're in. App.js, we have a string remove white space, which has spaces before and after the words remove white space. If we browse the JavaScript string documentation, we find, and again, if you're curious, and maybe you should be, check this out. It's gonna have a lot of useful things in it. And if you don't do it now, you'll probably wanna reference it later. We find several built-in string methods that each accomplish a different goal. The one method that seems ideal for us in, is trim, yes. 
What does trim do? It's going to take out the spaces in front and behind of the string. I used this in a program yesterday. Uh, the method to remove the method use the method to remove the white space at the beginning and end of the string in the second console.log statement. Okay, and so they didn't mention this one earlier above. We don't need anything. We don't need an argument in here because it knows it's looking to remove the white space before and after, and it actually doesn't eliminate the stuff in the middle. It's one of the reasons it's so useful. Here, let's check it out. Ta-da! And looks like we are good to go. Let's keep uh, heading forward.